G'day, I'm uh, sitting here in Lancel in Western Australia and I've decided to do an Instagram live stream where people can ask me a whole lot of questions. So what I'm doing is taking the questions that they ask here on this phone on Instagram, but I'm answering you on YouTube. So if you're ready, let's get into it. Have I ever lost a camera? Yeah, I've lost a camera on many occasions, but I've got them back on every occasion. One was on the bus in Luton. I'd gone to the rental car, got off the rental car bus, and then realized I'd left it on the bus. And thankfully the guy at the car company said, Let they do a loop, go back and stand on the road, they'll come back. Sure enough, got it back. I left one on a chair in Monza once at a uh, restaurant outside on the pavement, got that back. And then I left one out on the track in Singapore after a session and I got back and then I had a photo shoot to do with Jackie Stewart. And unfortunately, Jace had to go back and get it and smashed his head on a concrete beam or a metal beam and did himself a little bit of damage. But yes, I got that back as well. Best airline, Qatar I love. I like JetBlue. Worst airline, none of them are bad. I didn't think Royal Air Maroc was that flash. A couple of the US flights internally don't have great food, but none of them are bad. Would I take a job as a team photographer? Probably not. I would end up getting just reams of amazing photos of two drivers and nothing of the other 18. So I think I'm better off focusing on the whole field and trying to find the stories and interactions with different drivers that I get by focusing on everyone. What's my dream shot that I'd like to take? I think I'd like to get a car in the air. I don't think I've got that. I think what would have been amazing was to get that picture of Mark Webber when he got airborne going back to Valencia. That would have been a marvelous thing. But anyway, you never know, you can't plan it. You just keep your fingers crossed that you're in the right place and you can be in the right place and still not get the shot because as has happened in the past, I'll decide to pack up and go somewhere else and just as I pack my kid up, a prang happens in front of me and I think, damn, I missed that. What is my favorite hotel? Well, I don't stay there at the moment. It's the Palacio Tangara in Brazil. It is palatial, it is expensive, it's um, an oasis in what is a pretty hectic city. How close knit is the F1 photographer community? Well, amongst the permanents, we all talk because we all, at each race, we're all together. Uh, we're not so talkative with the local guys because we only see them for one or two races a year. But yeah, we, we all talk and I don't think there's any nastiness. It's not like anyone's uh, pushing and shoving to um, get you out of a shot. And oftentimes we'll share shots. Did you get that? Yeah, I got that and I'll swap you for that. So it's a bit of a barter system. Have I ever received a gift from a driver? Yes, I got a beautiful pen from Sebastian Vettel. Valtteri Bottas gave me one of his hats. He stopped one day as he was entering the tra uh, track on his bike. I think it was in Singapore. He said, oh, I got something for you. And he presented the hat and George Russell also gave me a hat. So they were gratefully received and worn often. Has the rise in the US market changed the way I do business? It certainly has. I don't think I would have been bothered um, doing driver sign prints going back when I first started. A, I didn't have the audience, but B, America wasn't as passionate. I can tell you that, I've just done a video about this, that over 50% of my signed prints go into the US market and 62% of these are sold into the US. So without those two products being sold in such big numbers into America, I'm not sure I could afford to do what I do with Formula One. How many steps do I take in a race? Well, I can tell you that over a four day race weekend, I can do up to 50 kilometers, which is a fair amount of effort. And thankfully, uh, I'm not going to the fridge every five minutes like I do here in Perth. So I tend to actually maintain my weight or even lose it when I go away for Formula One. Do I shoot all the time or sometimes have a timeout? Yes, I do. And I remember in Japan, and I think it was uh, when Nicholas Latifi did that uh, three-point turn in front of me, at some point I just stopped and said, right, I'm gonna spend five minutes just watching what goes on here. It doesn't happen very often, and I ought to do it more often because I notice stuff. Are some race weekends more profitable than others? Yes, depend on who I'm shooting for. Sometimes I have a client that says, right, we need this on this race weekend. Sometimes drivers might say, I need this. Sometimes I, I do a, a race book for a certain race that is amazing and it sells completely over the top. And I'll give you an example of one incident last year in Japan. I looked at my figures on the Monday after the race and I see the number of views on my website, on my galleries. And normally it's about 1,500 views a day. So f Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 1,500. Sunday, 21,000. 
a what? And I get back to my office, what's going on here? This picture. And it turns out it was a Japanese pop band that are rarely photographed. And I didn't know who they were when I took the photo, but it went absolutely crazy. And that resulted in a huge uptick in sales of uh, that picture via my uh, ProStarPics.com website. Why do I always wear a bucket hat? Well, uh, if you wear a cap, and I need to wear a cap obviously, or some sort of covering, as soon as you put that camera up to your forehead, you smash the camera against the brim of your cap. So a bucket hat is soft and floppy and simply gets compressed easily. Someone's asked how many gigabytes of uh, photographic and video material do I have? And I've just found the answer, it's 50 terabytes which is a heck of a lot. Has anyone left me starstruck on the grid? Uh, David Beckham, the first time I saw him in Bahrain, I think Will I Am because I love his music. Uh, I'm now quite friendly with him and we say hello each time, that's nice. Will Arnett from uh, Arrested Development and 30 Rock. I love him as a comedian and uh, I now talk to him quite a lot, lovely fellow. Oh, and Casey Neistat too because my boys mentioned that he'd be at a race and he was and I saw him on the grid. I only ever had two selfies prior to that, in fact one, Daniel Ricciardo, and I said, oh, can I get a selfie with you? Couldn't get the camera operator, so like he has to do with a lot of people, he just grabbed the camera and took my or our photo. Have I been late to a race? Yes. France, 2019 or 18, I head up the hill, I'm about 45 minutes up the hill, it's a two hour, three hour journey because the traffic was terrible. No media pass, oh no, what do I do? So in the end I thought, right, I'm just gonna turn, go back down the mountain, that was 20 minutes back to the hotel, get in the two and a half hour queue, rolled up just before the start of session one. So I missed all of the driver arrivals. And then I also lost my pass in Azerbaijan once. It turns out I'd actually put it into the washing and sent it down to be washed but that cost me probably an hour delay getting into the track. Thanks for getting through to the end. If you've enjoyed the video, it's a simple thing I'd ask is to press the like button. Some of you I know aren't subscribed. I don't know why, but you need to be. And if you'd like to join as a member, you get a whole host of extras for free. You'll find all of my digital images from every race that I've shot, and there are a hundred of them. Head to ProStarPix.com for a range of wall art, F1 photo books like this one. There's lots of them. Head to kimelman.com where you'll also find signed prints by a range of drivers and team principals. And for my best images live from the track and all during the week, go to Instagram and search my name, Kim Elman. My sincere thanks to you for watching and remember, stay passionate. But I'm answering you on YouTube. So here we go. So let's get ready. So let's get ready.